Ram ki Jai Maharaj ki Jai Hari Hari bol Brinda ita usi devaye priya ke savashya Vishnu bhakti pradidevi satyavakya namo namaha Vrindai tavasti devai priyai kesavashyata Vishnu bhakti pradidevi satyavakya namo namaha Vrindai tulsi devai priyai kesavashyata Vishnu Bhakti Prate Devi Satya Bhakti Namo Namaha Vrindai Tavati Devaya Kriyai Kesavashyasha Vishnu Bhakti Prate Devi Satya Bhakti Namo Namaha Vrindai Tulsi Devi Kriyai Kesavashyasha Vishnu Bhakti Prate Devi Satya Bhakti Namo Namaha Vrindai Tavati Devaya Vishnu Bhakti Pradhi Devi Satya Vacha Namo Namaha Vrindya Tulsi Devi Priyayi Kesha Vasha Cha Vishnu Bhakti Pradhi Devi Satya Vakti Namo Namaha Tulsi Maharani Ki Jai
Vedic literature, literature and pursuance of the Vedic version. Five, to consider the glories of chanting Hare Krishna to be imagination. Six, to give some interpretation of the holy name of the Lord. Seven, to commit sinful activities on the strength of chanting the holy name. Eight, to consider chanting Hare Krishna as one of the auspicious ritualistic activities offered in the Vedas as fruit of activity, karma kanda. Nine, to instruct the faithless persons about the glories of the holy name. Ten, not to have complete faith in chanting the holy name and to maintain material attachment even after receiving many instructions in this matter. It is also offensive to be inattentive while chanting. Every devotee who claims to be a Vaishnava should carefully guard against these offences to quickly achieve the desired success, Krishna Prima. Now let us offer our respectful obeisances to all the Vaishnava devotees of the Lord, who are just like desired trees who can fulfill the desires of everyone and are full of compassion for the fallen conditioned soul. Vancha kalpa terubhyasya, vipa sindhu vayavata, patita yana pavarishto, vayavishto, namo namaha, ananta koti vaishnava teacha. Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari 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 Gopi Jana Bala Bhagiri Bhagatari Gopi Jana Bala Bhagiri Bhagatari Gopi Jana Bala Bhagiri Bhagatari Gopi Jana Bala Yashoda Nandana Braja Jana Ranjana 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 
Yamuna Tira Vana Tari Yamuna Tira Vana Tari Yamuna Tira Vana Tari Yamuna Tira Vana Tari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jaya Radha Madhava Kunja Bihari Jaya Gopi Jana Bala Giri Bala Jahari Gopi Jana Bala Giri Bala Jahari Gopi Jana Bala Giri Bala Jahari Gopi Jana Bala Giri Bala Yashodanandana Prajajana Ranjana Yashodanandana Prajajana Ranjana Yashodanandana Prajajana Ranjana Yashodanandana Prajajana Ranjana Yamuna Tira Vanachari Yamuna Tira Yamuna Tira Vanachari Yamuna Tira Vanachari Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Jai Gaur Pramanande Hare Krishna Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Narayanam Namaskrityam Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Naram Chaiva Narotamam Devim Sarasatim Vyasam Devim Sarasatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Mudhiraya Tato Jaya Mudhiraya Nasta Prayeshu Vabhadreshu Nasta Prayeshu Vabhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhagavati Uttama Shloke Bhakti Bhavati Nishtaki Bhakti Bhavati Nishtaki We're reading Srimad Bhagavatam, Canto 4, Chapter 31, Text Number 25. Thank you. Text 25. Itatte bihitam shatar. Yatatte bihitam shatar. Yamam tvam pariprashtavan. Yamam tvam pariprashtavan. Pracheta sam naradasya. Pracheta sam naradasya. 
संवदम हरि कीर्तन संवदम हरि कीर्तन एतत्ते बिहितम शाता एतत्ते बिहितम शाता यन्मम त्वम परिपृष्टवान यन्मम त्वम परिपृष्टवान प्रचेते सम नरादश्या प्रचेते सम नरादश्या संवदम हरि कीर्तनम संवदम हरि कीर्तनम एतत्ते बिहितम साता रचेते संवाद हरि कीर्तन हरिकीर्तन परिपृष्टवम परिपृष्टवम इन्क्वायर्ड इन्क्वायर्ड प्रचेतसम प्रचेतसम ऑफ़ द प्रचेतस ऑफ़ द प्रचेतस नारादश्या नारादश्या ऑफ़ नारादा ऑफ़ नारादा संवदम संवदम conversation conversation hari kirtanam hari kirtanam describing the glories of describe describing the glories of the supreme lord describing the glories of the supreme lord translation my dear vidura i have I have told you everything you wanted to know about the conversation between Narada and the Prachetas. The conversation 
describing the glories of the Lord. I have related this as far as possible. Purport by Srila Prabhupada. Srimad Bhagavatam describes the glories of the Lord and his devotees because the whole subject matter is the glorification of the Lord naturally the glory the glory naturally the glorification of his devotees automatically follows Omagyana Tamarandasya Gyananjana Shalataya Chaksurun Militam Gena Tasmai Sri Gurave Namaha Vanchakalpata Rubyasya Kripa Sindhu Vayevacha Patita Nam Pavanivyo Vaishnavivyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Master Shri Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 So we're coming to near the, the very end of this chapter and the very end of the fourth canto and we've been hearing about Narada Muni and how he gave mercy to these sons of King Prachini Barishat called the Prachetas. They were ten brothers and they had all done great tapasya and but still they had some attachments to the material world but Narada Muni came to them and he gave them instruction and he taught them self-realization. He taught encouraged them to do devotional service and told them devotional service based on hearing and chanting will quickly take them out of the material existence. And they found it like that. Very quickly they were able to be liberated from the material world because they took advantage of the association of a great devotee, Narada Muni. Narada Muni was telling them what they had to do and they did it. They followed the process. So they, they went back to Godhead. So that is the, uh, why Srimad Bhagavatam is glorifying the Lord and it's also glorifying the devotees of the Lord. That you can't separate the Lord and his devotees. When you glorify the Supreme Lord, then you also want to glorify the devotees. It naturally follows. Just like when you honor the king, along with the king will come all of his entourage. Right? Was, was, you were telling us about the sheikh used to come, right? Mm -hmm. Was it the sheikh used to come to Geneva? Mm -hmm. and, and they'd come like 200 people, right? Yes. And they would all stay in the hotel there. <laughs> <laughs> the sheikh would come, they stay in the hotel, and all of his entourage would also stay in the hotel. They take the whole hotel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now they don't come to Geneva because they go further. They go far, farther away, you know, more places to travel. But they used to come here in the past. And uh, so where, where the Lord is glorified, then the devotees will also be glorified. Just like on here in our altar, we have the Lord's picture and we have the picture of the devotees. The parampara is there and the different spiritual teachers and we glorify them and we worship Tulsi also, you know, Tulsi is also honoured because Tulsi is the pure devotee of the Lord. You know, she creates auspiciousness. And so we also, wherever the Lord is present and we offer food, then we also offer Tulsi leaves to the, to the Lord because the Lord likes to get the leaves of the Tosi and Tosi performed great austerities for the pleasure of the Lord. And she's always appreciated by so many other flowers in the spiritual world.
There are many wonderful flowers like parijata and so many different flowers which have a beautiful smell and they're very attractive and colorful and everything and fragrant. But they all respect Tulsi. Why? Because Tulsi is the pure devotee. She's the completely pure devotee. She's completely dedicated to the service of the Lord. So that, that is why the devotees, uh, we worship Tulsi and we offer the Tulsi leaves and we put Tulsi around our neck. We wear neck beads made of Tulsi to help us to remember the Lord. So glorifying the Lord, we will also glorify the devotees of the Lord. We can, uh, by, uh, we, we say by the yashya prasada bhagavat prasado yashya prasada nagatikato. By the mercy of the spiritual teacher we get the mercy of Krishna. And without the mercy of the spiritual teacher then there will only be havoc on the path of self-realization. We cannot just go to Krishna without the devotees. We need the help of the devotees. So it's important for us to also uh, remember the, the relationship between the Lord and His devotees, and the glories of the Lord. Uh, and in glorifying the Lord, we also want to glorify the devotees, just like Narada Muni. Narada Muni is a great devotee and he came and he gave his knowledge to the prachetas. And by the mercy of Narada Muni, then the Prachetas could go back to Godhead. So hearing the conversation between these two great devotees is very beneficial for us. When the devotees come together, there will be Krishna Kata, right? There is Krishna Kata and there is the Gramya Kata. Gramya Kata, the village talk, you know. <laughs> But there's a lot, you know, mobile phones are very convenient for a lot of prajapa. You know, there's a lot of stuff goes on the mobile phone which is not very important. And people are always talking, but you're talking away. But we can use the mobile phone also in the service of Krishna. You know, we're just like we're using so many technology for the service of Krishna to let people hear to give other people the opportunity to hear the scriptures and to hear from the scriptures like Srimad Bhagavatam and the Bhagavad Gita and the Mahabharata and these different books, you know, people need to hear. And so we can use these mobile systems to co communicate the glories of the Personality of Godhead and the glories of His devotees. The Srimad Bhagavatam describes about the Lord, but it also describes about the different devotees of the Lord also. Because the glorification of the Lord is done by His devotees. We have to hear from His devotees. They know the Lord, they can tell us about Him. We want to hear about Krishna, we have to hear from the Krishna devotee. They will tell us about Krishna, they will tell us about Lord Rama, they will tell us about Lord, and Lord Shiva also. Lord Shiva is also, he told the Prachetas about how to worship the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Lord Shiva didn't tell them to worship him, he said worship the Personality of Godhead. Lord Shiva didn't cheat them, he gave them the real mercy. Other people, they worship Lord Shiva, they want material desires, they want money, they want power, they want fame. Lord Shiva can give these things easily. That, but that is not his real mercy. The real mercy is when he gives us the connection to the Supreme Lord, to the, the personality of Godhead, Lord Vishnu or Lord Krishna. And so the worship of the Supreme Lord is very important. And to worship the Supreme Lord, we have to go through the devotees. So when we offer, we cook food, we offer. We don't offer directly to Krishna, we offer to the Guru. And then the Guru offers to, to his Guru and it goes to Parampara and it comes to Krishna like that. We don't go directly to Krishna, but we go through the 
parampara, the disciplic succession, we, we cannot just go directly to Krishna. If you try to go to Krishna, Krishna will just ignore you because nobody introduced you. But if, if, if Krishna introduced, if some devotee will introduce you, just like if Narada introduces you, or if Srimati Radharani will introduce us, then it's very helpful. Then Krishna will be interested. Oh, who is this? And so you see in Vrindavan, in Vrindavan, all the people there, they take shelter of Radharani. They're always saying, Jai Radhe, Jai Radhe, you know. They, because they, by the mercy of Radharani, they can come to Krishna. If Radharani will introduce us to Krishna, then Krishna will take notice. But if we try to go to Krishna directly, without going through, the, without the connection, then it will be very difficult. Mm. Just like you want to see, if you want to see the, the, the king, you know, like the, 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 in England they have a king, they don't have any king here in Switzerland, mm -hmm. no? Anyway, they, in England if you want to see the king, because it's very difficult. But if you know the secretary of the, thing, the king, then the secretary, he can introduce you. So the same way, the pure devotees, they're like the secretary, they're like very dear to Lord Krishna and Lord Vishnu. They can introduce us. So it's important to, uh, for us to, to go uh, through the proper channels to come to know the Supreme Lord. So we hear about the Lord and we hear about his devotees also. Krishna says, if someone said he is my devotee, he's not really my devotee. But if he is a devotee of my devotee, then he is my devotee. So we have to go through the devotees. It is said in the scriptures, Aradhanam Sarvesham Vishnu Aradhanam Param. Of all kinds of worship, the best, the highest worship is the worship of Lord Vishnu. Tasmat Tarataram Devi Tadiyanam Samacharam. But then the verse said, even more powerful than the word, although it said worship of Vishnu is the highest. There's something even better than the worship of Vishnu, and that is the worship of those things which are in relationship to Vishnu. So that's why we worship Tulsi. We worship Tulsi every day. We worship Prabhupada. We worship the Param, the Supreme, the spiritual teachers every day because by the mercy of these great personalities, we can come to Krishna. It's very pleasing to Krishna when we worship uh, his devotees. So you see so many people, they will worship Hanuman because Hanuman is a great devotee of Lord Ramachandra. So if we get the mercy of Hanuman, Hanuman can bring us to Lord Ramachandra. If you want to go to Lord Vishnu, you can take shelter of Garud, and Garud can also bring us to Vishnu. And we, we worship Tulsi Maharani, Tulsi Maharani, and we get the blessings of Tulsi Maharani. Uh, I, we, we pray to Tulsi, I beg you, make me a follower of the cowherd damsels of Braja. Please give me the privilege of devotional service. Make me your own maid servant. So like that we pray to Tosi, we, we want to be the servant of Tosi, and then Tosi can bring us to Krishna. Tosi Maharani is the she's the very dear to Lord Krishna. So we we have to understand the connection between Lord Krishna and Lord Krishna's devotees. Some people will say, oh, I just worship Krishna, I don't care about anybody else. But we have to get the blessings of the, the devotees of Krishna. 
And you can see here Vidura, Vidura is hearing from Maitreya. Now Vidura, he knows Krishna. He was, the, he's from the Siman of Vyasadeva and he appeared in the family. He's the brother of Dhritarashtra and he's the brother of Pandu, Vidura, right? So Vidura is, but Vidura is also hearing from Maitreya. He wants to get the knowledge, wants to hear about the pastimes of the Lord and his devotees is hearing from Maitreya. So Maitreya is telling him, he'd been telling him this pastime about how the Prachetas met Narada Muni. The Lord is not present, it's Narada Muni and the Prachetas. But he, by telling this pastime, Maitreya is glorifying the devotees. He's glorifying Narada Muni. Narada Muni is giving devotion, right? Narada Muni has many disciples. Who are the disciples of Narada Muni? Prahlad, uh, Dhruv, Dhruv Maharaj, uh, and then Chitra. Chitraketu, and then mm. this Kumaras, no. The four Kumaras, no, no, they have their own. Mm. They they got all right. The four Kumaras, they they have their own parampara. Okay. Anyway, Narada Muni has many disciples. And he's always traveling everywhere, delivering Krishna consciousness. Narada, one who gives Narayan everywhere. He's going everywhere, giving the knowledge of the personality of Godhead. He's always chanting the holy name. Mm -hmm. So. Previously, he used to come here to the earth planet. Yeah, but in the, but in the Kali Yuga, he didn't. Well, mm -hmm. uh, in the Kali Yuga. Narada Muni is there in the pastimes of the Panchatattva, oh. right? In the Panchatattva, the Panchatattva, there is Srivas. So Srivas is an expansion from Narada Muni. Kadarha mm -hmm. is Srimati Radharani and Advaita. Yes, Mahavishnu. Mahavishnu and Lord Nityananda. Mm -hmm. And Lord Chaitanya yeah, is Radha and Krishna combined. Yeah, so like that, the Narada Muni is there in the pastime. Okay. Yeah, he has got a list. But Narada Muni is disciple Vyasa, Valmiki, Dhruva, Prahalad, Prachinabari, Balakhiya. Vyasa, yeah, Vyasa is an important oh, disciple yes, of Narada. When Vyasa became bewildered about, he was disappointed, although he'd written so many books, he didn't feel satisfied. And then Narada Muni came to him and told him why. So Narada and Valmiki also. Valmiki, Rama, Rama. he wrote Rama. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh yes, he was a... He was a bandit. Huh? He was a bandit before Ratnakar. <laughs> yes. But became a great devotee. Look, he chanted the name of Lord Ram. Every day. Yeah. He couldn't say Ram, so he started with Mara. Yes. Mm. Mara, 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 Mara. <laughs> yeah. Just chanting the whole day. Mm. But he chanted for a very long time. We would have to. And he had like a, a whole house of ant or... On his body. On his body. That's why he became Balmiki. Really? Yes. So we all his chant flesh like that, and everything right? was Guru eaten. Huh? We are not able to chant. Uh, like uh, if we are a little tired, if we don't eat, we are not even able to chant properly. Yeah, you have to chant properly. You have to chant properly. We're conditioned souls. Of course, Valmiki, when he did it, it wasn't in the Kali Yuga. It wasn't this Kali Yuga. It was a long time ago.
Was it? Okay. Yeah, long time ago in different yoga, right? In Kali Yuga, people, the lazy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He chanted for so many thousands of years. Yes. In really? Kali Yuga, that's what I heard. Some, so many thousands of years, Valmiki. Okay. But in Kali Yuga, we won't even live more than 100, right? <laughs> We'll be lucky to live on. Yes. Yeah. We have a short time to chant for in Kali Yuga. Yeah, that's why we're given special because we have short life. We're given easy concession. No, they say we can we can live uh, in the shastras. I think they we can live till 120, 140 years old. Biological, it's possible. It's possible. There are some yogis there in India, they are living oh, yeah. very old. Yeah. They, they know yes. pranayama. Yes. yes. They yes. can yes. control yes. the airs, can live yes. a long time. Yes. I don't desire that. Do you want to live that long? Why not? No. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Not a very good idea. Not a very good idea. Because the body will be old and it's difficult. Huh? Yeah. Anyway, the body is becoming old, you know. Mm -hmm. Then for teaching, if you, for example, you are teaching, so you can teach, you know, a uh, longer time. It's good. But uh, <laughs> body has a capability, you know, so. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it depends on the food you eat and uh, Not so only. the way you are uh, living. If you if you are living healthy, healthy life, you can longer your life, you know? Because uh, organically it's possible, it is possible. And they try to now scientifically they are proving that. But of course, there are not so many people they know that because you know. <laughs> and the <laughs> Srimad Bhagavatam it tells about Markandeya Rishi. Yeah. He got a benediction from Lord Shiva and Parvati that he could live through the night of Brahma. Mm. They said it was terrible. <laughs> the whole universe was flooded. It was floating about in the ocean. There were big, terrible big sea fish, all kinds of creatures in the ocean. And there was nothing to eat. There was no food. He was in the ocean. He had to live through the night of Brahma. It was just terrible. You want to live that long? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> when we offer the food, you told we have to offer it through the Guru Parampara. Yeah. So we should think uh, offering to our initiated Guru and then to Srila Prabhupada. How should we? Yeah. We, sh we have to we follow that, the that's system. A system. Yeah. We are giving it to our Guru and Guru gives it to Krishna. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's the system. You don't go directly. Mm. Right? Yeah. Mm. Right. Okay, Srimad Bhagavatam ki jai, Shri Prabhupada ki jai, Bhakti Vikna Vinash Narasimha Maharaj ki jai.